came to clean up this city, didn't you? It'd be easier to burn it all to the ground. Believe me, just burn it all. First, they harass my customers. Then they threaten to burn down my shop. You need to do something about it, officer. What do you want, cop? Can't we have a little bit of fun? We did nothing wrong. The music is too loud. My sound sensor measures 126 decibels. You are damaging your ears as we speak. Oh man, don't talk to me like that. I don't understand numbers. Nothing wrong, you say. I say, nothing wrong in breaking criminal bones. Maybe we should all practice what we preach. I don't know if there's something wrong with this beer or if listening to this silver nutcase made me sober up. Come on, man. Let's bail. Thanks, officer. Hey, Robo, can you help me out here? Be a man, pig. Why make such a big deal? How can I assist you, officer? I'm trying to catch this one shifty dealer. This guy steals nuke from other pushers to sell it at half price. This dopehead buys from him but won't tell me his whereabouts. I don't know any dealer. You were carrying for three different pushers, so you either like to walk for miles to buy nuke, or you appreciate a discount. Don't take it out on me because the guy broke your nose. As you can see, he doesn't want to cooperate. Do not worry. According to my directives, there are several ways to convince him to cooperate. I, I ain't gonna let it reprogram my brain. We can talk, but don't let it drill into my head, okay? The guy's name's Maurice, but I don't know where to find him. I always arrange a place over a payphone. I'll give you the number. Let's hope it works. The dealer knows where the others hide their stash. We could collect nuke from the whole neighborhood if we get to him. I will take care of it. But you need to find a payphone first. Try near the supermarket. I think at least one of them hasn't been smashed by vandals yet. Nice shiny armor, officer. Wanna be my knight? <laughs> and she takes off her top and says, Hey, this is a private conversation, pig.
What? Is this Maurice? Listen, man, I'm really swamped with the laundry right now, so make it quick. Could you advise me how a person who would like to try nuke should go about it? You're hoping to get your first bag for free? No way! I'm selling at half price anyway! But wait, your voice. You sound like... A future happy customer. Fucking Robocop! You wanna bust me? Why don't you do a better job of finding guys who vandalize phone boots? I'm losing customers because they can't find working payphone in this goddamn... What the fuck is it this time? Anybody home? Don't hide, Maurice. It's just a friendly visit. You like to do laundry? You should try working at the laundromat instead of violating the basic rules. Robocop, you have to help me! The back of the red building by the supermarket! Apartment 6! There's some guys here! I think they mean business! Hurry! He's on the phone! Shooting again, make sure the kids hide on the bed.
Listen, guys. I'll never touch your stuff again. I swear. That's not why we're here. So what do you want? The money? I have your money. You only have half of it, and that's the problem. You're selling our product at half price. That makes my customers complain about my prices. It ain't nice, Maurice. Maybe you think that building a customer base by selling your product under its manufacturing cost is a good idea. Under what? But it's not. Such practices are spoiling the market. It's been proven time and time again that such action leads to a reduction of future demand, yours included. Antitrust laws are there for a reason. Shit, Maurice! All we want to say is that you violate the basic rules of the market with your predatory pricing. We can't just go along with that. It's unfair and unethical. Not to mention illegal. What the fuck? You are under arrest. Come quietly, or this may be the last economics discussion you will ever have. Get him! Oh shit, man! Why did you do that? What am I gonna sell now? There are serious charges against you, Maurice. However, you can hope for a reduced sentence if you reveal where these three dealers keep their drugs. Or, I can jump into that pile of garbage below. A few bruises is better than jail! Do you know what the likelihood is of surviving that? I know the hood better than you do, cop! So try some different talk! Or I'll jump! Even if you escape Sutter's out to get you, you will be safer in prison. I missed our meeting. I was busy, but he doesn't get that. Doing laundry is important to me. It relaxes me. If you cooperate, you can get a job at the prison laundry. You mean I eat and live for free? And I do what I like to do anyway? <sighs> I, I I feel like I won the lottery, man! I'll tell you where these jerks kept the stuff, but I have to have our deal in writing. It ain't raining. Oh, crap! Give me back my money, you piece of shit! Don't you cops ever get bored with harassing successful entrepreneurs? Hey! This shit is rigged! That's a serious accusation, kiddo. Someone might think I would allow such illegal activity in my high-class business. Which I do not. I get lost. You work for Soot. Tell me where to find him. You cops are giving me a stomach ulcer. Stop asking me about guys I don't know. Withholding information can lead to bigger trouble than a stomach ulcer. Look, I'm a busy man, so I'm going back to my office now. Why don't you join me there, and we'll talk. Oh, on second thought, you can't do that, because you don't have a warrant, do you? What a douchebag.
Have you witnessed the owner participating in any criminal activity? Are you kidding me? Half the things I've seen around here would be enough to put him behind bars for a decade. Let us hear your statement. No way, dude. He might be a douchebag, but if you lock him up, this place will get closed down and... Where am I supposed to play hooky then? School may seem now like a difficult option, but it will pay off in the future. <laughs> future? Look on the street. You must have a microwave for a brain if you think that. with a warrant, cop. Such amazing colors, and there's not one but two of you. From now on, I promise I will cherish you more often. Your body readings suggest substance misuse. Oh man, a real life TJ laser? You are so incredibly shiny. I'm definitely getting more of this stuff. Who sold you drugs? I really shouldn't say, but you are my TV hero, so... All right, all right. Uh, all of the arcade staff will sell to you, as long as you got cash. Unfortunately, I'm broke, but I have a great idea. You, you could help me sneak into the basement. They keep a huge stash of goodies down there. Drugs in the basement? I will take care of that. Would you really do that for me? Way to go, TJ! Is that the ocean? Open the door. I have the warrant. Oopsie. I think I dropped my key somewhere. You'd have to break down this hardened door if you want to get in. That will not be a problem. Hey, <laughs> 
it's Robocop! Surrender your weapons. No chance! Light them up! Open the door, or you will regret it. Can't, can't a guy just sell drugs to kids without you harassing him every five minutes? Who, who am I hurting, huh? They all want it. Where do I find soot? Well, if that's the case, shut it, bozo! Unless you want to end up in the ghost house like that cop's informant! And don't you dare open that door, I'll shoot you! Have it your way.
stormed into my office. Apparently, his niece's car has been stolen. Find it. This goes to the top of your priority list. You can start by asking about it at some of the local garages. For the record, it's a blue SUX 6000, registered to Melissa Kuzak. Hey, I might be a little late filing my tax return, but sending a one-man army seems like an overreaction. I am here to investigate the theft of a blue SUX 6000 that belongs to Melissa Kuzak. Fancy car and fancy name. But I hardly ever get the pleasure of dealing with either. Do you have any information about the whereabouts of this vehicle? To be honest, I did some work on one of those cars recently. But I can assure you that it was not the one you're looking for. Do I have your permission to search the shop? I know what the world's like, but can a man go about his business without being harassed all the damn time? Citizen, I would like to inform you that knowingly delaying an investigation is classified as a felony. Yada, yada, yada. I don't have all day to listen, nor do I understand this bureaucratic jargon. Would you like to call your lawyer and have him explain it to you? You know what? If you really think you'll find evidence of that SUX ever being here, then be my guest. See, I've told you, you'll find Jack all. 
because there ain't nothing to be found. This place is legit. I need access to one of your lockers. I can't allow that. It's my workers' private possessions. You said your shop has nothing to hide. The locker you have in mind belongs to a boy named Scott. He works for me on and off. I have to admit, I had a tiny feeling he might have something to do with your case. I will open his locker for you, but I won't be held accountable for what's inside. That's his locker. Go on, have a look. And what do you reckon? Is he your man? For the time being. Where is the suspect? You see, he hasn't turned up for work for some time. This morning, when two thugs swang by looking for him, I knew he must be in trouble. I've overheard him many times talking about a place where he does car jobs on the side. Give me the precise location. I can't tell you exactly where it is. All I know is that it's one of the garages near the local storage compartments. Tell me why you think he is responsible. He's young, bright, and would like to rule the world. I get it, but nearly every month he gets himself in trouble. It is not enough to make assumptions. I'm not a cop, but I've seen many things in my life. And where there's smoke, there's usually fire. Is he a temporary worker? You could say that. We fall out a lot because he brings a lot of hot stuff to the shop, and I'm not okay with it. And you let him come back? It's hard to make an honest living these days. That's why I understand his struggle, and I let him come back. Working here keeps him out of trouble. And to be frank, it's not easy to find such a good mechanic either. Why did you cover for him? I can't watch a decent kid like him get swallowed by this city. Don't look at me like that. Instead of giving him up, I was encouraging him to come clean. But a man can only try. That is all for now. Hey! Make sure no harm comes his way. He might have done some foolish things in the past, but he's a good kid, and he deserves another chance. A court of law will be the judge of that. God, I messed up good. You must be Scott. What did you do with the blue SUX 6000 that you stole? Hey, well, why would I have anything to do with that? I have found evidence in Ben's shop. You can't possibly help me. I don't want to cause any more trouble, especially for Ben. Admitting to a crime is the best course of action for any young offender. I can't go to Juvie. Who's gonna fix this mess? My duty is to serve the public trust. Okay, okay. I admit, it was me who jacked the SUX. But he didn't leave me any choice. Who is he? I can't tell you. If he knew I gave him away, he'd take revenge on Ben. Oh God, it must be those thugs. We're dead. No one is gonna save us. If they are criminals, then they are the ones who need saving. Hello? Anybody home? 
Where are you, Scotty boy? You can only hide for so long. Oh, shit. It's the metal pick. Black oh! You did it! They didn't think that through. Maybe you can put an end to this after all. I am missing vital information in order to resolve this case. I'll tell you what you want. Just please, help me fix this screw-up. Where is the car now? Oh man, I'm sure it's still in their chop shop. It's a warehouse on the northeast side. The entrance is concealed, but I'm sure you'll find it. I'm no fighter, but if there is any other way... I would like to help. Maybe you need some more intel. Who did you mean by him? It's Rex, from the local gang. I only did petty jobs for him mostly, but this time he made me steal that car. He said he wanted the SUX 6000 we were repairing at Ben's. When I said it was too hot, he slashed me with his knife. Why were you hiding? You saw those thugs. They were looking for me. They realized I tricked them. They wanted the SUX 6000 from Ben's shop, but I didn't want to get him into trouble, so I stole a different one. I doubt anyone would have given a shit, but word on the street is that it belongs to the mayor's niece. Any criminal matters should be reported to the police. I know. I just thought I could figure this out by myself. Ben was right from the start. I shouldn't have gone down this road. That is all for now. Proceeding to the vehicle's estimated location. You are calling for backup, aren't you? Negative. Threat calculation minimal. Citizen, I am ordering you to discontinue this deliberate act of vandalism. S screw you, man!
I can't believe you've actually done it! Do you think I could take that car back to the owner and say I'm sorry? Maybe she won't press charges. This car is now in police custody. Oh, please, I could really use a helping hand right now. Otherwise, I'm back in juvie. Proceeding to secure the perimeter. Keys are in the ignition. Thank you so much! I promise I won't mess this up! You need to be taught some manners.
Are you the police informant? Do you know where I can find Soot? Uh, oh man, all great questions, but uh, could you untie me first? They really outdid themselves with these knots. Talk. Hey, I, I don't know how you usually operate, but that type of information don't come free. It is a privilege and a merit for civilians to assist the police in capturing wanted fugitives. Well said, uh... What can I say? I'm a sucker when it comes to helping the cops. So, it seems that the new guy saw the punks attack on the TV station and decided to meet with Soot on their turf. The meeting is supposed to take place tonight during Soot's concert. Concert? I know. I'm not really a fan of his music myself. But that's not what those shows are really about. Why don't we, uh, get out of here, huh? Lewis, Soot is meeting the new guy tonight at the old slaughterhouse. Copy that. Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. By the way, I've got something for you, Murphy. They call me Pickles. Eh, <laughs> and you guessed it. There's a funny story behind that name. This one time, I saw Torchhead stealing a delivery truck. I went after them, hoping that a VCR would fall off the back of the truck, you know. But 
It turned out to be groceries, so they left it. I made a pretty penny that day selling pickles. Still have a couple of jars laying around if you want them. So you are an opportunist. Hey, I prefer a street entrepreneur. You know what they say, a good business is where you find it. Ah, it's nice to be free again. Thanks, Tin Man. Hey, uh, did Briggs tip you off that I might be here? Officer Briggs? Yeah, he's my police go-to guy. Officer Briggs is missing. Missing? Shit. May our city have mercy on him. How do you know Officer Briggs? Ah, uh, we go back a long way. He gave me a helping hand when I hit rock bottom, and I've been in his debt ever since. He even introduced me to his family. Great kid and wife, though his missus don't seem very fond of me. You seem proficient in undertaking police tasks. Ever thought of making a living out of it? <laughs> oh no. One thing you should know about me, I love cops. You know, law enforcement, laws, all of that. I think those are great ideas. But so is Nuke. And when I need it, I tend to forget about the other stuff. So, you know what they say. You can only serve one master. Do you think Briggs is in trouble? I really don't know. Last time I saw him, he was going to check a case of missing bodies. Sounded like a bogus lead, so I didn't press him. Funny enough, he always tells me to be careful when getting info. But the truth is, I'm not the one running around gangster's paradise dressed in blue. Need to go. Duty awaits. Uh, uh about that. I've got a favor to ask. I know that Briggs is missing, but I've got something that belongs to him. He must have misplaced it the last time he visited my crib, and it's kind of weighing me down. What is it? It's his wristwatch. Now, I feel bad holding on to it. Could you please give it back to his family? This is stolen property, and you expect me to return it? Gee, that sounds bad when you say it like that, but still, you shouldn't let me hold on to expensive things. That's how I ended up in this situation in the first place. I will make sure they receive it from the repentant thief. Oh boy, you're a tough negotiator. But surely you don't mean now. I gotta chillax after all this. We will proceed with haste. Ah, oh, for God's sakes, man. As you command, Officer Steely. Hey, Tin Man, over here. This is where Briggs lives. Let's get this over with. His watch is burning a hole in my pocket. Apartment 21. Oh man, my hands are sweaty. Are you going into a drug-related withdrawal? Do you require medical assistance? Ah, uh, what? No, I'm just nervous. Me and Gail have a complicated relationship. She's good at reading people. This is it. Deep breath. Let's do this. 
you first. Huh? Robocop! Are you here about Mike? Yes, I am sorry to hear about your husband. Oh, Gale. no, 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 no. This junkie is not coming inside. What else are you gonna steal? Huh. Funny you should say that. I can't stand him. I'm sure he has something to do with Mike being missing. Are you any closer to finding my husband? We are still looking. Is there anything more that you can tell me about his disappearance? I've already reported what I know, but if you have any more questions, shoot. I heard that he was looking into reports of bodies going missing. An old lady approached him at the precinct and told him a sob story about how she couldn't afford to bury her husband. Can you believe that? Anyway, when she finally collected enough money and went back to the morgue, only to find that they had lost her husband's body, Mike went to check it out and never came back. Where was the last location that he was seen? I remember him telling me that he was leaving his jurisdiction. That that's where the leads were taking him. I tried to convince him not to go. It seemed dangerous, but he felt sorry for that old lady. He went against his own rules and me. He left angry because we'd been arguing. Do you remember the exact location? He never told me. But maybe it's in his files. Why do you think that Pickles is involved in your husband's disappearance? My husband's a good man. Sometimes too good for his own sake. He believes in second chances. Even if someone doesn't deserve them. Like Pickles? That unappreciative asshole constantly gets himself into trouble. I mean, who's always there to get him out? You guessed it. So do the Earth, Mike. Pickles has a bad influence on my husband. I think I have everything I need for now. Knowing you're on the case makes me a little less anxious, Robocop. Now I just need to break it down for our son. He does not know? <laughs> I didn't know how to tell him. He's a smart kid, and I think he suspects something. Could you maybe tell him to come home? It's getting late, and the streets aren't safe these days. He normally dawdles, but having you tell him should <laughs> light a fire in his britches. I will make sure that he returns home, madam. Thank you. He's playing on the basketball court nearby with his friends. That went pretty much as expected. We are not done. We're not? You still have that watch, do you not? There is someone who needs to learn what time it is. Is... is that a movie quote or something? I'm pretty sure I heard that somewhere. We must get to the basketball court. That's just around the corner. Um, are we playing? What's that got to do with time? Is it, like, time to kick my ass? We are going to remind Gail's son that it is past curfew. Oh, Daniel. Sure. <sighs> Bummer. 
He's not here. Maybe these guys saw him? Good evening, citizens. I need... Need what? Some spare parts? Hey, there's a mechanic up the road. We all have to obey the rules of the games we play. Unsportsmanlike conduct makes all players look bad. That's right, fool. That was a technical foul. I didn't know he's so delicate. What do you need? We're looking for a kid. His name's Daniel. He was playing here earlier. Why? Is it past his bedtime? It is. Yeah, I saw a couple of kids drawing with chalk they found lying around that crime scene over there. Thank you for the information. Congrats, guys. You just became police informants. It has its perks. You'll love it. I see a couple of drawings over there. This was drawn not long ago. Ah, there's more over there. Oh man, are we really jaywalking? That's a hundred dollar fine. Huh. I guess we're conducting an investigation. Come on, kid! Where are you? I should be somewhere around. Shoe print, size 7. That's gotta be his. So I guess you have like a scanning thing in your eyes. Yes, it allows me to see things that are not there anymore. Oh, so it's kind of like Nuke. What about over there? No, it is locked. They did not go inside. <laughs> they threw out the chalk here. Must have found something more interesting. Fuck! That was close. We'd better hurry. Do it! Come on! And him! What are you waiting for? Fuck him up! He's laughing at you! Hey, what the hell's going on over there? Yo! Daniel! Oh no. It's the cops! I don't want to go to jail for this shit! Is that a gun? Oh, you're in so much trouble, kid. No, it's not... Whoa! What the hell? You're lucky that Tin Man here doesn't have a real heart. He'd have a hole in it right about now. Sorry, sir. You will be once your dad hears about this. My dad's missing. So he can't tell me nothing. My mom said that he's out on an assignment, but I know the truth. He's not coming back. Why'd you say that? He's always been a stickler for following the rules. 
I guess that's why he's missing. Cops can't shoot without giving a warning, and someone got the drop on him. But that's not gonna happen to me. I'm going to be the one that shoots first. That's why my friends say... Your friends are knuckleheads. If you listen to them, you're a knucklehead too. Come on. Sit down. We need to talk. Those friends of yours, they take the easy way out. You don't want to go down that road. It leads to a dark, lonely place. Do you know why your dad is such a stickler for the rules? Because he's a chump. Because it's the right thing to do. It's not always easy to do the right thing. It takes strength. And you think my dad has that kind of strength? Are you kidding me? Your father has enough strength for the both of us. He even helped an ungrateful addict that he found in one of these buildings that smelled of rotting garbage, half dead and covered in vomit. And instead of writing him off, your father opened his home to him because that's the right thing to do. That's strength. Don't you think there's someone else who could use that kind of support now? Mom... See, you already know what to do. You can start by giving her this. She's looking for it. Is he going to arrest me? No, it's your first offense. So he'll let you off with a warning. Right? Right. It's late. Let's get you home. Well, you tell my mom about the gun? No. She doesn't like me already. Thanks for the help, Tin Man. I'll talk to you later. Partner, what's the status on the old slaughterhouse? I had to take care of something. We can go there soon. Sure thing. Pick me up at the station when you're done. This is where Sook is supposed to be hiding. Can't really call it hiding if he sent invitations to the whole city. A bit Rudy forgot about us. At least I will not feel bad crashing his party. Murphy, I was thinking about what happened to you at the TV station. Maybe you shouldn't... No need for alarm. Becker's chip is keeping my circuits in check. You're more than just circuits, Murphy. Underneath all that metal, there's still you. Alex Murphy is gone. He lost his life. And despite that burden, you carry on. You've done more for this city dead than anyone has alive. That has to count for something. Uh, I'm gonna shut up now. Just take this little something to remind you of what I've just said. Open it the next time Becker gets under your skin. Also, don't forget you have a partner who's counting on you. Concert in an old slaughterhouse? I suppose it fits those animals. The place looks deserted. Are you sure your junkie friend didn't mix up the venues? He is the type who likes to mix things up. We shall have to see.